It's minutes o'clock and time to make things happen. We got a cyber power UPS. It's a 425 volt amp. A uh, couple of outlets that uh, are surge battery protected and some that are just surge protected. I uh, believe that the uh, problem with this is just the battery, so we're going to replace the battery. And unfortunately, the battery that's in this is no longer in stock, so we're going to have to try and make an adjustment there. There's a single torque screw that's located here uh, that locks this plate on. So we'll take that out, um, and then we'll see what we have on the inside. So we've taken that out. I've already removed the uh, battery, uh, and I've got a replacement battery. So here is the replacement battery. Uh, before that, I'll throw on the screen. Uh, picture of the previous battery. So anyway, this battery is what we're going to put in here. It's a little bigger. Uh, only problem is it doesn't fit. Uh, they don't sell the uh, battery anymore that it actually fits in this little cavity right here. So what we're going to do, we're going to take out these two risers so that the new battery can sit all the way down here and it will fit within that space. Uh, I don't have a tripod at the moment uh, set up uh, after the move, but uh, uh, I'll remove these. Uh, I'll just use a wood chisel and a pair of pliers and then we'll come back. Here we go. Uh, I actually couldn't find my uh, wood chisel. Um, but if you don't have a wood chisel, something like a pair of diagonal pliers will work perfectly to reach in and clip off this plastic little by little. And we're just going to nibble along there to remove that. And we're only trying to get it down to this level here. And then once we have both of these two pieces removed, new battery should fit in well. All right, uh, because I don't have the uh, wood chisel with me, it's not pretty, but uh, we're not caring about pretty, we're caring about functional. As long as everything here is at the same level as this, if it's at the same level as these ribs, then it'll function and allow for the bigger battery to sit down into this pocket. Need to finish up with the uh, other side and install the new battery. All right, uh, we've gotten down, and I did find one little trick that uh, with pliers, uh, this particular plastic, I was able to reach in, grab the uh, plastic, and then twist. It actually pulled off fairly cleanly. Um, other than across the top of these ridges, which is uh, much harder to set up and pull uh, and keep level the way that I wanted to. Uh, anyway, time for a test fit of the battery. So I'm going to put this in. It goes in like this, and that fits perfect. So, uh, I'll connect up the uh, wires and we'll test this out. All right, one thing I did not count on was right there, this particular battery, the lead for the positive side is hitting on one of those ribs down there. So I'm going to trim that rib back so that the power cord can sit properly and the battery will fit all the way down. All right, as I was about to cut off that rib right there for the battery, I realized the other side doesn't have a rib. So, 
flipping the battery over, everything sits down. So we're going to uh, test that. It looks like I might have a little bit of a high spot uh, where I trimmed the other stuff. I'll trim that out. Uh, I might add a spacer at the bottom to a piece of plastic or a composite shim to uh, hold the battery just a little tighter. And we'll close this up and test it. All right. Got the uh, battery installed. For the plastic shims, I just actually reused a piece of the uh, plastic that we tore out. Uh, and that holds nice and tight. Well, we're gonna go ahead and close this up. All right, as I'm going to close this up, oh no, it's not fitting. And what I realize, they've added an additional spacer right here within the lid. So this also has to be removed uh, so that it can fit. Oh, but is it going to fit once you remove that? Well, let's test. So I'm going to move this down. And, yep, after I'm off that piece, everything sits flush enough to close up. So we're going to take this little riser out and then move from there. All right. I did the same thing I did on the inside uh, for putting the battery in the case. I just grabbed a hold and twisted to pull off the different ribs. And with that, let's test this and see how well it fits. All right. So there's that. And does it shut? Oh, oh, yep. There it is. Shuts. Okay, we got the uh, one torque screw to add back there, and we can test it. And there we have it, our little pile of all the plastic bits to throw away that prevented the new battery from fitting inside the uh, old case. All right, we've got the surge protector with the new battery pack installed, and Press the button, it's only gonna beep. You actually have to hold the power button. Now, that's on. Uh, good sign that this is actually working now is it's no longer beeping uh, when it's plugged in. Uh, for me, the battery replacement's not a big deal. Uh, I'm actually only gonna be using this to connect to my router. So the internet router and Wi-Fi router will be connected to battery backup. Uh, so if power goes out, uh, those will stay on longer uh, and we'll give some additional time there. But successful repair of this UPS. Uh, with that, remember to ask questions and try things. Have a good one, everybody.